In this tutorial, you will learn how to define properties in C Sharp. Property is a member of a class that provides flexibility and security to the private member fields. This helps in reading and writing the value to the private field. The properties can also be referred to as accessors. Properties are usually defined public, but can use any access modifier. The concept behind the properties is encapsulation. Let's look at an example. We are going to use the same class, info. Now, let's assign another variable, grade of type integer, int grade. Let's use a property current grade. Current grade sets and gets the data for the member field grade. Thus, the grade is encapsulated from the rest of the program while it is accessible only by the property. The set accessor sets the value for the grade, while the get accessor returns a value for the grade. The value keyword here is auto-generated in C Sharp, and this refers to the value the user sets to the member field grade. Now, to access the get and set accessors, you need to create an object. We need some codes in the main method. The declaration of an object myInfo to the info class. When I call myInfo.currentGrade equals sign 5, it calls the set accessor, and this next line gets the value for the grade. Thus, you can get and set the grade. Let's add a line to print the grade. Console dot right line braces quotes your grade is plus sign grade in the print details function and call the function print details in the main method myinfo dot print details. Let us compile the program and run it. The console window requires an input, so let's enter 101 for the ID, user for the name, and 44 for the marks. When you press enter, you can see the grade being displayed. This is the default function of a get and set accessor, so we can modify this. Let's take the method body of get and set and place semicolons instead. And now, we don't need the grade variable. You can directly use the property name. So type current grade instead of grade in the right line statement. Now let's compile the program. You can see a warning here. The variable grade is not used, that's fine. A program can function with warnings, but can't if there are errors. So we can run the program. Now enter the same data as before. And it works just the same. Now you can also make the private member field a read-only or a write-only property. Consider an example. You have marks of certain students and want to compute the grade. Since the grade can be calculated using marks, there is no value to be set. Thus, we are going to use only the get accessor. So let's make some modification in the program. In current grade, let's delete the set accessor and type in get accessor, return mark divided by 10. Over here, there is no need of calling the current grade properties from the main method. We have the call directly in the print details method. Delete the two lines here and build the program. Now run it by pressing F5 and enter the details. Notice over here, the grade is calculated by the property. Thus, current grade is a read-only property. To make a property write-only, you can delete the get accessor while keeping the set accessor. Thus, you can use property to encapsulate the member fields.